Hello everybody, welcome to our first tutorial for AutoCAD Plan 3D 2016. Today on this tutorial we're only going to talk about how to create a new project and minor navigational things about the software environment. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start by clicking, uh, well, once you open the AutoCAD 3D program, you should be able to see uh, this window where there will be option of get started. Uh, so we're going to click on create a new project which should pop up this window here we have a chance of naming our project i'm going to call it tutorial 5 why not and here you can also add a description of your project and change the location of your project and whatnot go ahead and click next the second page is very important of the project setup wizard is uh, where we make our unit selections so we're going to choose metric and millimeters go ahead click next and here it's we're given a chance to choose the proper PID symbology symbology standard um, we're going to choose the ISO even though we're not going to work uh, or I think at all on a uh, PNID diagrams but uh, just so that we have made the right choice go ahead click next and next we have here is um, locations of your different files I suggest you leave them as is click next next again and here you can also make a selection here and click finished if you were to select that box you would pop up that um, uh, project manager properties window where uh, we saw from process engineering you can fill out extra information or choose extra things so uh, currently we're just going to ignore that just click finish and as you can see my computer has been a little slow but besides that uh, once it has finished what we would see is uh, the new project uh, being populated into the project manager window on the left hand side okay just about done there we go so here we see our project name tutorial and there's three options PNID drawings plan 3d drawings and related files we're mostly going to work under the plan 3d drawings um, currently there's no files underneath it uh, so we're going to right click the plan 3d drawings and click on new drawings so here it gives you a chance of naming I'm just gonna call it test click OK it should bring us right into our our model environment uh, okay so the first things first uh, make sure you have this uh, little navigation bar on your screen if you don't have it I'm gonna quickly show you how to get it here so um, this little ribbon at the bottom is actually quite useful but um, right now we are going to select our workspace switching you can see there's a little gear symbol there Go ahead and click on that and currently we're in 3D piping but we're going to click on PID PIP to switch our work environment and go ahead click on the view palette and make sure this navigation bar is selected and if you press that one if you don't have it this should pop right up so let's go back to 3D piping okay um, so first things first uh, right here uh, on the navigation bar what we have is uh, one thing really useful is the orbit option so you can just orbit around your object um, and whatnot and to get out of any function or any settings or anything just press escape and if you were to have a mouse with a scroller if you press and hold your scroll button the third mouse button and that will become a pan simple pan and your scroller is usually the zoom in zoom out option and then what else okay so if you were to have the orbit again uh, maybe I can show it better this time as you can see it would orbit around a certain point which is very useful but what happens is sometimes you lose your perspective you have no idea which direction you're looking from so if that were to happen I'm going to press escape to get out of there you can go right over here it if you have switched it from a standard view it would always say custom view just click on that and you can choose any isometric view you want um, I usually choose SW isometric it gives a nice little view here so that's one of the tricks um, 
so for our system a couple of things we're always going to have um, have on is we're gonna be in model space so just leave that alone uh, we're just gonna work on model space but if you click it again it will go to paper space and vice versa here um, we're gonna have our display grid on as you can see this little blue usually glowing blue means on if you turn that off it disappears I, I find it is a lot easier to have it on and most of the time we're gonna restrict our cursor ortho orthogonally because uh, we're going to do actual structures and equipment so we do want to stay within the plane properly so um, I would have this turned on for now see as it goes uh, glowy blue that means it's on and one major important thing in AutoCAD is always going to be the snap on so which means uh, when you have a line or object which point can you select it's it's actually very important so go ahead and click on the little down arrow on the snap on and here it would give you an overview of which options you have selected so um, I'm going to show you go ahead click on the object snap settings and right now I have selected endpoint under the object snap uh, tab here under the draft settings endpoint midpoint nodes intersections perpendicular nearest uh, nearest uh, you can select it sometimes it's useful sometimes it's annoying I'm just going to deselect that for now on and go ahead and press OK okay so pretty much that's all we have to do on this tutorial uh, see you guys on the next one where we're going to build a grid so we can work off of a grid uh, okay see you next